Controller players have been fighting a civil war for a long time over one specific setting. The debate between linear and exponential settings has been ongoing for years and many controller players have chosen their side. But why is the debate between inputs so tense? Which setting is actually better and why can't us controller players come to an agreement on it? Well I think I have the answer and some of you are not going to like it. For a long time we've been led to believe that exponential settings is better for aim and linear settings are better for mechanics. If that statement is true, that means you'd be able to tell the difference between what setting a player uses based off of those features, right? I'm going to show you guys some clips and I want you to guess if I'm using linear or exponential based off of the gameplay. If you guys watched the previous clips and guessed linear, then you would be correct, but let's see if I play any different on exponential. As you guys can see, my playstyle is completely similar on both linear and exponential. Remember when I told you that the first set of clips were actually on linear? What if I told you they actually were on exponential and I wanted to see if you could tell the difference? This just goes to show that regardless of what setting you're using, you can play the same way and it doesn't limit your mechanics or your aim. So what does this mean? Have we been lied to all this time? What are the real pros and cons of the settings if we can do the same things on both? I want you to be completely honest. Which setting do you play on, linear or expo and why? I can almost guarantee that most controller players are on linear and that's because they either copied someone's settings or they saw their favorite controller players use it. It's so important to realize the fact that the Fortnite community is heavily influenced by the pros and well-known players. This causes most people to choose linear over expo because when they're looking for settings to use, they see most players on linear. I think the number one problem is that everyone's so caught up trying to keep up with the metas and copying YouTuber settings thinking it's going to make them play like that person. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way and the only way to get better is to put in the extra time and practice. I recommend you experiment and find the best settings that you feel comfortable with and stick to them without changing it. This way you can build the muscle memory and over time start to see improvement. I'm going to give you guys the best settings to start out with for exponential and linear and I want you guys to make changes based off of how they feel to you. For example, if they feel too fast, I want you to lower it and if they feel too slow, I want you to increase it. The whole purpose of this video was to answer one question, which setting is better, linear or exponential? And the answer to that question is that it's all personal preference. You have to choose the settings you feel comfortable on and stick to it. It's not good to constantly be changing your settings because you'll never reach your maximum potential. As I just demonstrated, the same things you can do on linear are also possible on exponential. You just need to put the time and the effort to improve. At the end of the video, I have the best base settings for both linear and exponential, and I want you guys to adjust them for your comfortability. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy this reloaded gameplay. I'm out. Peace. Oh my. Don't matter to me, Rod Wave is Rod Wave. Anybody in a big pot? Big pot, big pot. I'm so I'm so dumb. Your teammates. I got what I got. I got what I got. I need to get her.
I'm gonna fight this kid. This is an old dick song. Twenty. I want to give you free views, so I don't do that. 